Greetings to everyone. Greetings to Inspector General of Republic of Kenya, Mr. Hilary Mushambai. My name is Ali Muhammad Ali, and uh, I am a victim of kidnapping. I am a victim of torture, and I'm a victim of persecution by one of your documented killer cop, Ahmed Rashid. Ahmed Rashid has specifically abducted me on September 2018. He came into my apartment, broke into my apartment door, abducted, kidnapped me and took me to Juja Road location. I was violently beaten up. Ahmed Rashid, he physically and violently tortured me. Ahmed Rashid has used, has used his panga and placed it on my neck to slaughter me. He threatened my life. Ahmed Rashid has also placed a pistol on my, on my forehead. All that to intimidate and threaten my life because I have filed so many complaints against Ahmed Rashid. There are so many complaints that was filed that was filed at Inspector General's office. There's a complaint that was filed at Internal Affairs Office. I've also filed a complaint through my lawyers. My lawyers have filed so many complaints with IPOA. I'm a, I am also a victim of blackmail and extortions. I've lost about 1.8 million through blackmail and extortion by two of your officers. Ahmed Rashid and another officer by the name Abdul Karim Masoud in the pretext of selling me a business located at Luna Park Pangani and I ended up becoming a victim. After filing so many complaints and on, uh, on September 2018 when I sent a Facebook, a public, public Facebook post to Kenya Police Service I'm a Rashid realized it was me who was complaining against specific location Luna Park because my property was taken away from that location by Ahmed Rashid and he gave my property to one of his relatives his, by the name Shahio. When I started filing so many complaints against Ahmed Rashid and when I sent a Facebook post on September 2018, immediately Ahmed Rashid raided my apartment, broke my apartment door with a group of other individuals, other officers who were directed my location by one person by the name of Shahio. Shahio is the relative of, of Kilakop Ahmed Rashid. This guy, this Shahio, came with him to show my apartments and Ahmed Rashid took me, abducted and kidnapped me and uh, took me to a Juja Road location whereby he physically and violently beaten me up. He physically and violently tortured me. He slapped me. He used all kind of weapons. On my body to threaten my life, he used pangas, a machide, and placed it on my neck. He also placed a pistol on my neck. All that to scare and intimidate me, to harass me, to to threaten my life. And on September, on of on on February 2019, February 2019. After I filed a complaint against his relative, Shahio, through ATPU, and when he was arrested by ATPU, Mr. Shahio, when he was arrested by ATPU, Ahmed Rashid took a grudge again, and and violently on September on 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 February 2019, he 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 violently fractured my left leg leg with two other individual two other officers liban ali 
and Yusuf Isaac. And on September 2018, when Amr Rashid kidnapped, abducted and kidnapped me and held me for several hours, Amr Rashid took me to Pangani police station where I was held for almost two weeks. And when I was in the police station, Amr Rashid continually continued to beat me up, continued, continued to threaten my life, continued to, continue to torture me. I'm hereby requesting Mr. Hilary Mutiambai, why is Mr. Ahmed Rashid, why is Killer Cop Ahmed Rashid being protected? Why is your officer who has a history of killing over 50 individuals at Madari and uh, some other Somalis who are known to be killed by Ahmed Rashid? Where is, where is Ahmed Rashid complaining? Why is Ahmed Rashid not being prosecuted? Ahmed Rashid is already documented by UN. He's already documented by Human Rights Organization. Ahmed Rashid is already documented by International Civil Rights Organization like IMLU, Amnesty Organization, Am Amnesty. And Ahmed, your office continue to protect Ahmed Rashid because of his Lee market. I am aware Ahmed Rashid is also being protected by MP Yusuf Adan. Aden, uh, MP Yusuf Hassan, Aden Duale, and Yusuf Haji's family. They are all protecting, protecting, protecting him because of, uh, because they are from the same clan, Ogaden clan. And the individuals, the wealthy individuals, businessmen who are from his tribe are also protecting, protecting the killer cop Ahmed Rashid. And they are also funding your office. Mr. Ha Mr. Hillary, these all businessmen, businessmen, who are funding your office to protect Amir Rashid. To protect Amir Rashid from getting transfer. To protect Amir Rashid from getting any prosecutions. There are so many victims. I'm one of the victims. I'm a victim of kidnapping, persecution and torture. Why is Amir Rashid being protected? That's what I'm asking Mr. Hilary Mutambai. Thank you.